Welcome to the Beer Aka interview. I conducted this interview to get the opinions of Minecraft Online players on the 1.12 update for my revisiting Minecraft Online video. I asked plenty of questions not relating to the 1.12 update, so I'm uploading the full interview for those of you who are interested. Enjoy! Who are you? Beer Aka, moderator. I run the Verigo post. What's the Verigo post? Basically, the uh, obviously it's the best, most reliable uh, news source on MCO. How did you first become aware of Minecraft Online? I was through a random YouTube video in Fido. Um, I think it was the like, oldest Minecraft server. Just a random video on yeah. YouTube, like one of yeah. the the popular ones that uh, that got all the like the million view I, videos, or some random guy like twelve I have subscribers. No idea. Yeah. Probably a random video. This was some um, before Fit MC and stuff. When did you first join the server? I believe it was 2019. Yeah, 2019. Yeah, yeah. 2019. That's no, it. Right. Yeah, um, maybe 2018. I'm not sure. What kickstarted you into playing the server actively? Pandemic. Ah, uh, yes. I don't know. I had three times. So. I see. I see. COVID nineteen. Yeah. It's the it's the arbiter of yeah. all gaming. What was your first interaction with staff on the server? Uh, it was with... He's no longer a mod. Uh, he's Wolf 390, uh, 359, I think. Well, he was... He uh, was, was grief checking me. I have to tell you this. One of the earliest interactions with Wolf that I had, he's currently known as Dirt Dimitri, who's, um, who's an administrator. At the oh. time, he was regular. And I was regular as well. <laughs> me and Dimitri, we we uh we did a prank on Wolf. I uh, I placed down a diamond block, and I I had Dimitri break the diamond block so that Wolf would uh, would TP to us and uh, assume that he was griefing. <laughs> that I would place a lava bucket in hopes of killing Wolf. And uh, did it work? No, he jumped into water. Unfortunately, so uh, he, he survived. survived. Why do you think Minecraft Online still has an active, active player base after all these years? Well, there's many appeals. Free speech, I would say, is a big thing here. Mm. And uh, quote-unquote simple rules. No griefing, no spamming, no cheating. And, you know, we're basically a, uh, a very minimal backing, you know, compared to all of these um, modern servers. And, you know, being listed on the Guinness World Record for... Oh, this server certainly helps. <laughs> oh, yeah, it definitely does. I didn't know it was listed in the Guinness Book of World Records, though. That yeah, me too. What makes Minecraft Online interesting for people, in your opinion, or for you? One of the things that um, really kept me into playing was the defunct old motto. It's no longer in use. The motto used to be, Who survival without the grief? It's mm. just survival without the grief. Uh, that's uh, that has been changed for a number of reasons. One of them being we have gods with creative mode, but that's okay. I mean, <laughs> that's okay. They don't us, but um, yeah. I mean, I was pretty fed up with maybe um all these random SMPs with a really eight win system. Minecraft mm. Online is a different ex experience. Of course, back in the day, you could buy creative. You can't anymore. You could theoretically spend eight years voting for the server, but I don't think anyone's going to do that. What has been your favorite interaction with the community on the server? Being a mod, the com community is definitely my favorite part of the server, much more than the building and the Minecraft-ish aspects of things. Um, the community... As I've said, it's basically an international, diverse group of nine-year-olds and <laughs> occasionally seventy-year-olds. Um, so you, so, so you, you, um, you get a lot of uh, perspectives, and uh, it's really interesting when you talk to people, and then you you find out that um, you know they have all these uh, interesting experiences, but. Um, they came together to play some Minecraft. At the end of the day, we're all a bunch of Minecrafters. So I, I guess that's um, that's my favorite part of uh, interactions. Well, oh, and also with the very good post, really fun uh, providing information to the community. And we do um, hold award shows. Actually, um, 
you're invited to. We have a uh, mm. person of the year ceremony this um, Sunday. So, which version of Minecraft do you prefer the server being on? One point seven or one point twelve? It might sound funny being a twenty nineteen kid player mm -hmm. slash like a nineties kid, but I'm um, twenty a twenty nineteen kid. Um, I would obviously I'm a bit biased for one point seven, but the main thing with one point seven was that it was lacking. So when when we transferred to well, when we updated, well, thanks to all the hard work of our devs, it mm -hmm. took them quite some time and effort, but um, we updated pretty, pretty, pretty nicely. Um, 1.12 opened the gate. For, I would say the, the most creative people were not one of them. So <laughs> 1.7 was kind of nostalgic and uh, uh, as a, a simple time. You could say, but I mean, I don't really, I don't really. On one 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 point twelve, is nice. Um, I don't know. I one point twelve, I think just you know, it's newer, it's less lucky. But mm -hmm. one point seven, um, has a I have a soft spot for one point seven basically. In your opinion, how well was the transition from one point seven to one point twelve handled? Uh, in terms of it being handled, it's pretty pretty not pretty nicely. There's, there, there were a lot of uh, uh, behind the scene uh, testing. We have well, one of the things that I've said is that we have minimal plugins. Uh, actually, all of them are custom made. So uh, our devs uh, made the plugins and they updated their own plugins. So well, most of the plugins, anyway. But yeah, so it was pretty pretty nice. Um, I, I, yeah, it couldn't have done uh, been any better. I think. What are some drawbacks you can think of uh, about the server being on 1.12? Drawbacks in terms of, well, obviously we're not on the latest version, but compared to 1.7, I don't, don't think there's a drawback, mm. in my opinion. What are some positives to the server updating to the new version? Well, obviously it's, it's a lot less lucky. What are the chances the server updates to a version past 1.12? Oh, well... Definitely uh, going past one point twelve, but um, well, I'm I'm not a developer, so I can't uh, go into much detail here. But I well, it's definitely we're going. We're not stopping at one point twelve. Uh, mm. They are working constantly at updating. When do you think the server will be an uh, updated version? Well, it's definitely not going to take years like when when it did from one point seven to one point twelve because. The uh, sponge, I well, I'm not a like, computer scientist, but um, when, when the, the sponge, I I think it's well, I, I've heard them say that it's easier to um, to upgrade from 1.12 to maybe 1.17 or something. I think it's going to be within this year probably. Or I mean, don't quote me on that. Which <laughs> that's my mm. opinion, but yeah, it's probably this year or next year. I think maybe even months even do you think they'd be better off using a build protection plugin than having their staff teleport to every single block that gets broken by a player no well and i think the reason is that we're such an old server that a lot of our builds are not not only really were old we have we have thirty thousand bands so a lot of builds are owned by people who are no longer here on the server it's going to be well, if we used, um, you know, uh, a protection system, uh, it would be pretty, uh, pretty, pretty complicated. But uh, in terms of having moderators teleporting to every block, I think it's pretty efficient. Well, obviously, we can't teleport to every block that's being broken every single second, but we have admins who do the re-check, re I think. Which is basically I'm um, looking at block breakages. I've played on servers with such a system, and if it's a uh, golden shovel, maybe I maybe I lose the shovel, or maybe I uh, run out of uh, protections. In, in with Minecraft Online, it's a uh, permission-based system, so uh, it's pretty easy to uh, to transfer permission, grant permission. Um, you just say that I'm giving this person 
uh, permission. They ask permission. They don't need to go through. Most of the time, with um with a building, uh, uh protections back in, there's a max number of people that you can add. So, um, maybe if the uh, owner gets banned, then that gets more complicated. So I think we're better off using a uh, the current system. But mm. I, I I get the idea that uh, it seems inefficient. But I think in the long run, we'll be better off using the current system. How do you feel about the tightness of the rules and how easy it is to get banned for breaking something as simple as a torch? Okay, let's um, focus on the no griffin rule, you know, because with all the, uh, oh, I broke a torch on the oldest Minecraft server videos out there. I have no doubt that it's the, uh, <laughs> it's the most famous rule, but in terms of strictness, it depends that no griffin rule says that properties, I would say properties of other people are, are owned by them and that you have no no right to um, sample or edit without permission. Here's the thing, torches. Okay, yeah, let's talk about torches, because why not? Tor torches, easiest block to break on Minecraft online. And first point is it's clearly man-made. It can't be a natural block. But the thing is, if we're going by the book, obviously... You know that's against the rules, and that's a that's a bannable offense. But obviously, we don't ban for accidents. So if it's by accident, it's we don't ban, we don't warn, mm -hmm. we just we we do nothing basically. Just be careful, whatever. But in terms of if you're intentionally breaking torches, well then, what we have to ask is, what's your intention? Technically, there's no difference between a block and a million blocks. But if you break a million torches, of course, we're going to ban you. But if it's just one torch, then then you're going to be questioned most of the time. You wanted that torch and you thought that nobody owned it and it's a random torch in the middle of nowhere, you're probably going to be let off the hook. But there's just not many people that's banned for um, breaking torches that are genuinely not you know, malicious. I think the intent of the malice of breaking torches is what we uh, weigh the most as as rule enforcers it's intention over uh, yeah uh what actually yeah happened. definitely when when did you get added to the moderation team uh that was february 2020 and then i resigned in november 2020 and then i came back i believe it was april 2021 why did you become a Minecraft online moderator, and why did you leave, and then why did you come back again? I was asked by, yes, he was admin at the time, Waffle Monster, he's still an admin now. He's a, I was friends with him before, he's an old time player, but he stopped playing, then he came back in 2019. We sort of became friends, so that's how uh, I knew him, through when he was a regular, and then he became mod, and then several months later, in a uh, pretty impressive uh, impressive length of time as mod to go on to become an admin. He asked me to become mod and said, oh, sh sure, why not? And I resigned in, yeah, November, because I was basically busy in, in real life, and then I became not so busy, so I came back, basically. How do you feel about the server's moderation team, and moderation in general, and how it's handled on the server? What's your opinion on that? It's an essential part of MCO, I guess, I don't know. Yeah, as, as a mod, it's not very easy to answer that question. I mean, it, it's like asking him what you think of yourself. In what way has the 1.12 update helped you do your duties as a Minecraft online moderator? Less laggy, easier to play in general, and to moderate. What is your opinion about the server's admin team? Good, except when they are promoted. Dimitri shouldn't have been promoted, should have stayed mod. Why? Kidding, what? kidding, 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 kidding. Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> How have you incorporated the new 1.12 features into your gameplay style? I don't think anything has changed since the update with in terms of my gameplay style. So I, I don't really do anything on the server except running around and exploring. One thing probably is the uh, the wing thing, what you call it. Oh, Elytras. Uh, oh, yeah, Elytras, yeah. yeah. I mean, I use Elytras now, so pretty, pretty neat. I can pretend like I'm Batman or something. Batman. 
Aesthetically, which is better in your opinion, 1.7 or 1.12? 1.12 probably, I would say, has better as aesthetics just because it has more blocks, you know, with that, more colors. But mm. I'm not a builder, so I don't really know much. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, any projects or things you've been doing on the server? Apart from a very good post, I'm a part of several different towns, and one of the, one of them, what what I call it, it's a republic of very good. It, it's it's actually a town. We call it a nation, and uh, it's basically a social experiment in a way because uh, we're a, a republican democracy. Uh, we have mm. monthly elections and stuff, and we have colonies and we have states, and it's pretty pretty fun. We have a Discord. Well, actually, we have Discord servers. We have multiple servers oh. we have one for rosenberg which is right now the hottest and the largest state in the public very good and we have the state of very itself and uh yes yeah, it's, it's pr pr pretty uh, pretty pretty fun that's uh that's what i that's all i do nowadays is i come on the 20th which is when uh, elections are held and then i vote and i count up the votes and then i announce the winners on very good post and then i lock off oh and sometimes i moderate what what build on the server that you've seen uses the 1.12 uh, blocks the best, do you think? It's probably Uncle Jenny's, the club. Um, you need an Elytra to access it. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. It was built in 1.7, waiting for 1.12 to happen. What is your favorite build on the server? Uh, it's probably the Heart of Fredonia, uh, which is in the Republic of Virgo. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a gigantic tree. If you could change one thing about Minecraft Online, what it, what would it be? I would give myself bedrock and uh, two 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 dots of diamond blocks. <laughs> that and that's the only change that needs to happen in my in Minecraft Online. Yeah, yeah, in yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for doing this interview. No problem. You're welcome.